Today what we're doing is a deck inspection. What we have here, uh, the, the owners have uh, painted this deck and what we can see right here is you got, this is a good example here of when we halfway do things. See these posts right here? It's on both sides and neither one of them are sitting on a footing. So they're not even, and they're not even attached to the concrete. And so, uh, so they could actually be knocked out any time. Now this is the worst part, they're using a 2 by on a flat as the beam. Look how that thing's swelling down, sinking down there. It's got a big old belly in it. That means it's way too sh nothing, just little to be carrying the load. So, I mean, it's, it's, you can see it. Well, what we have here is the reason that they had to do that is because these floor joists, these are two by eight floor joists, and they're spanning over 12 feet. And that we have an arm area, 60 pound per square foot uh, load capacity. These are not even 40 pounds. That's how bad this is here. So let's just keep on looking up here and see what else we can find. Um, you know, I, when they when they paint their decks like this, it's usually telling me we're hiding something, and uh, especially when you paint the underbelly of it. And what we do have here, see, I got me, I do have some rotted wood, some rotting decking. If it's rotted on the underneath, you know, it's in bad shape up on top. And we kind of just keep on scanning around here and looking. Here's another post right here coming off there still just sitting on a paver not even sitting on anything solid uh, we're gonna keep on going oh my we keep on going here and uh, looking at our stair treads and now we got our post right here now these posts appear to be sitting on something more substantial hopefully they're sitting on a footing I see a little concrete right here kind of hard to see in the video but oh, you know what I'm taking that back. Them things are just sitting in the dirt. They're not even sitting in the concrete. So, so right now I would say this deck is a catastrophe. Uh, let's keep on looking here. Let's finish uh, our inspection here of what we got. And uh, yeah, like I said, once you start to hide it, here you go. See that right up there? You see our busted band, our board right there on our rail? So, and not a very good picture, but I will continue on here. And we'll just keep on moving here. And uh, see our band board, totally blowed away. Just gone, nothing. Now, I'm going to make the dangerous adventure up the steps. Steps are supposed to be three foot wide. These steps are a little less than two foot wide, but if it had been permitted, it would be, it'd be in. But look at this, look at that right there. Look at that post right here that I'm pointing to. Look how it's leaning. This thing's about to fall over. Whoop, see that, you're hiding. When you hide it, you're in trouble. We're looking. Okay, so come up here. You can see it's all rotted right in here too. This is a really good one. And look at these deck boards. Let me get down here so you can see these deck boards a lot better. See, they're just totally rotted away. This deck, in my opinion, is unsafe to even be on. Now, you can look and see how the balusters, these are the balusters. There are two buys on edge. These are balusters right here. Some people call them spindles, whatever you want to call them. But see, I was not even put in there straight. They're all crooked. Then we move over here. I want to look at this here and see if this even shakes. Oh my, see that? See, that's not even safe to lean on. Alrighty. So let's see what else we can see. I mean, I don't know that we really need to look at a whole lot more. We know this deck is a catastrophe. Well, folks. This is what happens when you have a do-it-yourselfers or you have a, a company with a tail light warranty. They got a great deal, they thought, but the deal cost them a lot more money than they ever possibly imagined when it sells over. Thank you for watching my video, and you have a wonderful day.